and what is going on YouTube, Just Another Game Channel, bring you just another video. Now, I've just sneezed three times and I can feel several more on the way, so if I sneeze, my apologies. So guys, uh, we've finally got the full Hunter set. All I need now is a Titan set. These drops do not drop very often, although saying that, I had two helmets drop today, one after another. So that was weird because I did like six or seven runs of this and uh, yes, I got almost no drops. So. This is the uh, the Lightkin uh, Hunter set. Um, we saw the Warlock set, and I have none of the Titan stuff yet, guys. It's just this stuff has just not been dropping very often for me. And uh, even with turning in engrams, I'm really struggling because I don't have the resources to get the guaranteed like 50/50 roll between this and that, etc., etc. But pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to the uh, obviously looking forward to the ornaments when we finally get those unlocked, uh, which will. You get the final version you know you need most if not all i think you get the final version on like level 100 on your upgrade bar i can't remember if that's true or not but it's, it's pretty close to end when you get them all but pretty doodad looking set which i'm surprised i like so much because this is this looks like it's based on fallen technology and fallen stuff is usually not great because it looks like scrapyard because they're, they're basically scrappers aren't they they, they left their home world pursuing the machine and they're having to scavenge and, and integrate their technology with old abandoned human tech. So it does look like scrapyard stuff. But it actually looks pretty cool this time around. Um, anyway, let's get let's see what we've got. I'm gonna yawn. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah, right. So the hunter. Um. Yeah. You know, that's really weird. Um. Because it kind of reminds me of the hive. Um, Sacred Splicer can change much, but I never dreamed our lives would change so quickly. Mythrax. So, yeah, it's it's full and Splicer armor, essentially. But it kind of looks like a homage to the Hive. Does anyone else see that? You've got the Nashers, you've got the Multiplies, you know, maybe Mandibles on some of the bigger things. You know, it kind of does look like Hive. Um, I'm going to go on again. So, yawn is like a thing I do because I almost never sleep. Um, I think I got like 40 minutes last night in total, which is actually way more than usual, so I feel pretty pretty chill actually, believe it or not. Uh, so, yeah, there's not there's not much you can see on Mask we have, uh, we have the cloak gone, and we can't get the cloak gone, but pretty cool. Um, just reminds me of Hive, I guess. Yeah. Alright, let's look at the arms. You guys know I love asymmetrical arms. Ah, oh, these are symmetrical. That's a shame. They still look really cool. I love the fur. I love the feathers or the crow feathers or whatever it might be. Um, cool. So they're interesting, but they usually they've got. Like if you notice this this generic glove here, it's always made out of the same stuff, um, almost always. And then you've got like additional knuckle braces for punching or strength. You got, you know, structural protection. And uh, extra armor. Oh, excuse me. I wonder if these are power sources. What do you reckon? Um, you got the binding. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. There's not much to say about it, really. Just, just, just pretty cool. Uh, really, let's be honest. It's all about what the shaders look like. Let's be honest. Right. So the vest again, very reminiscent of kind of scrapyard. Um, armor we've got a lot of tubing and piping you know it's basically like armor fallen i'm gonna leave my planet and then you know luckily we found some vacuum cleaners so we can uh, make some cool armor but you know it's, it's fine it looks actually pretty good it looks pretty good actually considering um it'd be interesting to know what all these little things do if there's a design element there when they're building the concept art I did another yawn. Right, that's probably going to keep happening, guys. Um, so I'll apologise in advance. I'm, I'm guessing there might be... I don't know how all the designers work, but if you're a decent designer, you'll probably go through, like, at least ten variations of armour till you get to this. And then you'll reiterate this and probably do five fully drafted versions of this armour. And then you'll pick one and then you might refine it slightly. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like the cape. I've got to admit, I like the cape. Boots. 
There's not much in boots these days. They're not as cool as they used to be. Well, it's quite interesting. We don't have a full armor set. We've got some support here on the joint. I would assume that here and here, where the mechanisms are, there'll be some sort of, uh, you know, metal structure uh, uh, along the knee joint to strengthen it. And these help it he help the knee bend. That's pretty cool. Uh, extra pad in here. Almost, you could almost argue maybe they're designed to protect the groin, but the groin's sort of exposed, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of just go with that because it's cool. Uh, boots again. Oh my god, oh sorry. Ah, sorry guys, oh my god. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty simple. Pretty cool. There's not, there's not really a lot to talk about, some bandages some uh, flotation devices and some uh, knee joint uh, extenuators. Pretty cool though. And the cloak, we got the cloak. I wonder if these spikes are antennas for absorbing ether, what do you reckon? Or are they, do they power off ambient electricity? I don't know, it's kind of cool to think though. I don't know what the spikes can be for. Or they're just so you look badass. Um, nonetheless, that's a cool look. Now, oh, right, yeah, see, this is the problem. Now when we go and find, um, another yard. Oh my God. What we're looking for, flare. Now we've got to go through all of the, uh, the shaders, damn it. Right, let's just pick some that we think might look cool. Um, No, that's going to look terrible. I don't know why I picked that, guys. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. All these look just not very nice. I don't know why I'm picking these. Let me just stop right there. All right, let's have a look. You know the ones I like, guys. Actually, I'm going to this one. This is nice. It's not going to look very good. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh. No, this used to look good. Not bad, silver and yellow. That's pretty cool, actually. At first glance, you might like, oh no, but there's something pretty cool about that yellow. And I like, I love silver rather than gold, because gold looks cheap, like cheap plastic, and silver looks like Kit Kat's metal. I've always liked silver and platinum to gold. I don't think gold looks cheap. I don't know, it's weird. Um, I know it's technically more expensive, but safety first. Man, this looks awesome on some, but it's just too much. Like my eyes are actually. It's probably different because you're getting a downgraded version through the internet on your monitor. You're not looking at the direct light reflection in Destiny, but you know what it's like, guys. These lights are so bright sometimes. I think they need to take lumosity down or refle reflectiveness by about 10%, just so I don't have to wear bloody shades every time I take this. Actually, sometimes I have to wear shades indoors because I'm sat next to the window and I can't see my screen. It's insane. Wall brick. This is uh, one that often looks good on stuff. Pretty nice. That grey, that silver bluish greenish grey, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's kind of, it's a real, you know, on the, on the helmet and the chest plate, it's just a really interesting colour. It's like a white to black gradient with blues and greens in there. So it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's a really nice colour. Um, Blood help, Bluetooth, sorry. This one sometimes looks a bit plasticky. That looks pretty cool. Still looks a bit plasticky with that black though. I like the white cloak though, it's not bad. It's eh, sort of just off white. Nice chill, baby. Ooh, that just feels chilly. I'm all cold now, even though the sun's out. Sun's out, yeah, it's a bit too warm today. This kid's like two houses over with bouncy castle, and it's like been running for hours, and it's got like the engine. Like, and my window's broken, it doesn't shut. Wow! That is an awesome colour, but man, that's too much. That, my eyes are really hurting right now. I cannot look at that. I'm having to look at it on my iMac through Elgato rather than on the screen. And there's about a two second delay on rotation. That's cool. Um, first Frost. See, I'm just looking for all the ones that I know look good. That's pretty nice. Oh, I like that um, inside colour reflector. That's cool. That's a nice, it's got a nice tint to it. It's got a nice, it's a nice fit. Skelly ghoul. Well, that's pretty cool, but not what I expected. Colours don't normally turn out like that. 
It's interesting. Ooh. See, these lilac colours are really nice, but a little bit too effeminate. Not that that's a problem in itself, but just it's a bit too much, I think. A bit overwhelming. Man, vintage timber. Wow, I was not expecting that. Usually it's like gold and, and like dark, and that's really cool. That's that's really awesome. I like that. I really like that. It's got a nice feel to it. World algae, 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 algae. It's a cool color, but it's, it, it, it varies on each. It well, depends on what the material is. I don't know if they broke this up into materials or stages. Like, okay, stage one gets this color, stage two, or A gets this color, B gets, or if it's like, okay, this material gets this color, and you know, it's, it's cool though, it's very cool. You'd look cool in all that. Oh, that looks very fallen, don't you think, guys? Don't you think that looks really fallen? Like, but they're sort of like neat, attractive fallen. It's like, you know, it's not rusty or anything. That looks pretty cool. in gold oh. it's a little bit dull it's a little bit somber looks okay not amazing activities bro right let's get some iron banner done because we know iron banner always looks awesome yeah that brown's really nice i've always liked that brown silver and gold trim it's got a nice it's just got a nice feel to it guys iron wood this is another one a little bit different too much green there for me I like it when this applies and there's n no or very little green because it, 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 it expands the other colours and it looks awesome. Um, Iron Bone, this will be that burgundy colour. This is uh, one of my favourites. That cloak looks very odd though. I'm not used to seeing that colour applied to that material. It's the first time I've seen that colour. Um, but the, the, the burgundy brown looks awesome with the silver trim. Looks really good. That cloak's very odd though. If I had to, I'd probably apply a different colour to that cloak. Maybe a black or something, I don't know. Um, shader itself with a full silver mask, that looks wicked. Castle Not bad. Again, you are seeing unusual colours because you're seeing unusual materials. So, it's pretty cool though, it's pretty cool. Midnight Smith, no, I don't have this, I'm kind of curious. Whoa, that's bright. It's a little bit too much, do you think? A little bit too much. Gambit Crow. Whoa, that looks cool. Pure white with a little bit of very light blue. Cream, silver. Looks good. Looks good, baby. So it's just a bit too much, though. It's too much on the eye. I know, luckily, you don't see it when you're playing, but. Man, it'd be good to wear. It'd either be really good to wear in PvP or really bad, because they'd see you and kill you, so really bad, or really good and then you'd blind them. See this this colour, this this hacky colour. I've always liked it. It's always been a really cool colour. A little bit seventies weird, but with the right with the right armor set, it looks really good. Look at the gun, like with the with the orange trim on the barrel. It just looks cool. It just looks really cool. A little bit seventies. I'm not a super fan of. Oh, this is gonna look gross. I'm so sorry I did this. Whoa, that looks amazing, but in the wrong sort of way. That is amazing, but not. It's not awesome. It's mate. You know what I'm saying, oh yeah. It doesn't look great, but it's amazing. It, there's something about that that's really like. I want to. I really want to. That looks freaking awesome. I don't know. It's that mix of colours. It's just so overwhelming. It looks, it looks just fucking beautiful, but really wrong and bad. <laughs> Damn, that looks really cool in a wrong sort of way. Ooh, whoa, weary. Oh, yeah, that, you see these bright oranges? There's something about this bright orange that I've always liked. It's probably from Destiny 1. The Future War Cult armor set, the Titan set, Future War Cult. It was a diagonal orange, and I applied the orange and blue armor, so it was like diagonal orange stripe, diagonal blue stripe, then diagonal orange. It was like three stripes going diagonal. But they were so big, they didn't look like stripes. It was just different. Like half of the helmet was orange, half blue, 
off the shoulder orange from shoulder to to waist was or, was blue then the other side was orange you know etc etc so i think that's why i like the orange so much it's a cool color though van gogh marshall this is like a black and orange wow that is just awesome but really wrong wow all right let's get into the world there's probably not much left that's particularly good this might look cool. That looks cool. That looks very cool. It's a bit too overwhelming though. This is a problem. I wish it was... I don't know what I wish it was, but... Something about it is just a little bit too much. Refurbished. We always know this one looks cool. It's got that military greyed out, almost carbon look. You know? Not quite carbon. You know what I'm saying. It's not, it's not carbon fibre. It's, it's, it's along those lines. No way Black Armoury. Yeah, we all know that colour, don't we, from the weapons. Looks very cool. Ooh, I think we're getting... Oh, Lighthouse Sun. I think we're getting into the crap stuff now, guys. That looks good. That yeah, that sort of yellow from Osiris and stuff. It looks it looks really cool. That looks really cool. I'm almost tempted to, to, to show you that colour. Um, nah. See, then I think we're there, guys. Arctic Dreamscape. Looks badass. It'd look cool on Mars, but Mars is gone. Um, ah, Bullshit Dreams. Let's get one last go. Yeah, that looks really good. Looks really good. I love how, I love how the the, what the blues shift. I love the, the fact that it moves. It's really cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry it's took so long to get these up. Uh, like I said, the drop rate's been abysmal for me. Let me know what you guys think. What are your favourite shaders? Leave it in the comments below. And I will get uh, the title one up as soon as I've got it. As soon as I have it. And I will um, drop the, uh, the, uh, the ornaments as soon as I get those. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. So cheers.